we continue on our series in the book of Acts, The Church Begins. Today we're looking at Let's Get Organised. So what was the solution? Let's read it from Acts chapter 6, verses 2 to 6. The twelve, that is the apostles, summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not appropriate for us to forsake the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, select from among you, brothers, seven men of good report, full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will continue steadfastly in prayer and in the ministry of the word. These words pleased the whole multitude. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. When they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. Now, three things about the solution. The transformation of the apostles, particularly James, Peter and John. It's not stated here, but a transformation has taken place. Only a few, a few short days ago, the disciples of Jesus had refused to wash feet as an act of service. That's Peter. Some had wanted positions of power and greatness. That's James and John. Their old nature must have started asking questions and prompting them to react negatively. The world has attacked the church, Satan has attacked the church, and now Satan would have been using the apostles' old nature to attack the church. But, but as they are transformed by the indwelling Holy Spirit and now have a new nature, the very nature of Jesus Christ, they react much more righteously and judiciously. Notice they gathered all the believers together for a church meeting. They gave their opinion or judgment, if you like, that their ministry or time would be better spent doing what God had called them to do, to be leaders of the church, praying, preaching, evangelizing, and discerning how best to apply the three years of teaching that they had when traveling with Jesus Christ before his ascension. Their time, rightly so, was best spent doing that, for that was their ministry of service. But other people in the church gathering, who had a ministry of service and overseeing the food distribution, could spend their time doing that. So what of these seven men with Greek names? They were elected by the whole church, both Greek and Jew, to perform this duty. They may already have been doing it, but were now being set apart especially for this role. These men were controlled by the Holy Spirit and were wise. They were chosen to give relief to the leadership so that the word of God and prayer would not be hindered. Interestingly enough, the word diaconia is translated here as ministry. Other way to translate it is as deacons. But they were not deacons in the way that Paul used the word as part of a church government in 1 Timothy 3. Rather, they were deacons set apart for this specific task. It was their ministry. It may well have been from here that Paul developed what some parts of the universal church understands as the role of deacons. So these seven men were prototypes, as it were, for the Pauline idea of deacons. Note also that the apostles, the apostles didn't say their work was more important than serving. They were just following what God had called them to do, just as God had called these seven men to take responsibility for providing food for the widows. So they were commissioned by God, by the laying on of the hands, and set apart to perform it. We know only of Stephen and Philip, and that they continued doing other ministries as well as this.